nothing can break me. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Hey guys, I'm John, and we're Emma John. You're welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you're brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you like to stick around and join us in all of our adventures. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe button in the corner. If you didn't hit the subscribe button, then please make sure to turn on the notification bell as well, and then you'll be notified every time we post. Absolutely. So a couple of weeks ago, maybe last week, maybe the week before, I don't know how time works. <laughs> um, we saw so Helena and Martin did a tag. It's the behind the scenes tag. Um, I'll leave a link to their video and their channel. Yeah, their um, channel's amazing. Go and check them out if you haven't. It's an incredible channel. Yeah, and the questions as well. I'll leave yeah. them down below. Um, but we thought we'd just give a, another view on it. So basically the tag talks about like how you set up your videos and like kind of everything that happens behind the scenes of making a YouTube video. Yes. Um, so some of you will already make YouTube videos, so you might want to snoop on how we do it, <laughs> which is totally fine. <laughs> and some of you might be thinking, oh, maybe I would like to make a video. And then you can see kind of what goes into it. Absolutely. Yeah, some's gonna be the same as everyone else, and I guess there's, there's only one way to do certain things, and then some's gonna be completely different. So, yeah. yeah, this is how we do it. Yeah, so question number one there's 15 questions, so <laughs> I'm gonna start with question number one. Okay, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, where do you find inspiration for your videos? Absolutely anywhere. Yeah, we got a list somewhere, and it's got a load of ideas in. And every time we get a new idea, we write it down, and we got more ideas than we got time to film. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we'll have an idea that, you know, kind of builds on something somebody else has done. Yeah. Sometimes, obviously, your ideas are completely original. Yeah. Sometimes you write things down and they're not quite right, and then a week or two or a month later, you think, actually, if we did it this way, then this would work. Yeah, and some ideas don't even get airtime at all, it just gets rubbed out and we never talk about it again. Yeah. Um, just like a ser the series, what we're doing at the moment, the Facts and Secrets, that almost took a life on its own because it initially. Yeah, I think as well, the vlogs kind of just happen. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes you'll be doing something or you'll be watching something or you'll see something and you'll think, oh, that would make that a cool video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it just kind of like comes from wherever. So question number two is, do you have a Word document, notebook, etc., dedicated to your videos? Yes, a right. lot. <laughs> so, could you just hold the questions okay. for a moment? Okay, so I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this one. I brought a backup for some days. <laughs> this is our like planner for this year just gone. Yeah, so, but it's green, so you might not be a seer because obviously we're using green screen. Yeah, this was 2019-2020's <laughs> planner. It's got a sloth on it, it's very cute. Yeah. And then this is the 2021 planner. It says, nice to meet your dog. <laughs> I like the sloth one. I like the sloth <laughs> one. But we picked this one because of the layout, so this is a blank page, but that's the layout. Yeah, so we write down ideas or what videos we're going to do. I don't know if you can see that. This is quite on the right. So right now, every week, what ideas, what film, what videos we're going to film, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. And sometimes they change, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> yeah, and um, we also we don't really have anything on the computer as a planner. No. So and then so it goes into the planner in pencil. Then once it's filmed and edited, it goes in in pen. Yeah. And then it goes into my diary because I have a weekly diary <laughs> so that I remember to like promote it and things like that yeah um, and we, we remember to like watch it through and stuff yeah sometimes we move ideas about from like other week we do this one this week and move it around that's why it's in pencil and we only firm it up in pen when it's all been done mm -hmm. um, but we like to see it we'd actually like to see it in front of us all, the whole month we do you know on the computer we could do the same but we like to sort of rub it out and put it in pen once it's done and dusted yeah Question number three, how long do you prep for a video? Depends what it is. Yeah, we took this to mean like the actual prep for the video, yeah. nothing like to do with us or the setup, to yeah. do with like the preparation. So a Facts and Secrets video can take what, an hour or two? At least an hour, to maybe write two, them. yeah, research. Um, to film it, again, at least an hour. Yeah, for like tags and stuff, I like to keep them kind of Lucy Goosey, because <laughs> yeah. I like it to be more natural, so they don't take very long, really. Um, yeah. And then vlogs, obviously, they take the whole week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, vlog, week. you just pick a camera up whenever you, you you got it, and you're doing something, and you just vlog, yeah. So that's, you end up having loads of photos. <laughs> yeah. Question number four, how long does it take for you to prepare your appearance for a video? <laughs> to look this good? <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might be different. Yeah. I cook, eat, have a shower, shave, dub done. But I, I would normally ready anyway. Normally. <laughs> yeah. So for the vlogs, um, we I don't really do anything different with my appearance. If I look like a potato, then that's what you get. Potato did. <laughs> <laughs> but like for the sit down videos, I will put a little bit of makeup on. Um. 
so it takes a little bit longer like the more potatoey I am <laughs> so like I don't know not too long though I'm not I don't take a long time to do my makeup really so I don't she know does. maybe 40 uh, minutes long time no at least an hour and a half no she says 40 minutes but it normally turns about an hour and a half no that's even before even more behind the scenes <laughs> that's not true <laughs> not that long <laughs> okay um, question number five is what time of day do you film? Um, Any time we got five minutes spare to film. Yeah. Um, for example, now it's upper six in the evening, but we have filmed early in the morning, we filmed in the afternoon. We prefer to film in the morning because obviously your lighting's better for your windows, more natural, but just sometimes if I'm busy or Emma's busy, sometimes you just can't do it. We just gotta find the time when we can film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read, I don't like filming like first thing in the morning because I'm still asleep, <laughs> but like half past six is maybe a little bit late for us, but we've had a day. Yeah, so. yeah, we did have a day. So. <laughs> no, it's half past six a day and I think the lighting's okay, um, so, we have we well, do we'll it talk when, about the lighting in a moment. <laughs> we'll, we'll do we we'll, we we'll do what we can do with, with the time and we what we got really. Yeah. Um. Question number six is show us tell us where you film. We actually filmed us setting up the setup, so I'll leave a link to that vlog there. <laughs> or is it here? No, it's there. Isn't yeah, it? I Over think here. So. Um. But basically, we've got two. No, we talk about the lights in a minute. <laughs> but the camera is obviously on a tripod right in front of us. This is a green screen, but you won't be able to tell because yeah. it will have something on it. <laughs> Not sure what yet. But um, yeah, it's basic. We like it because we don't have to take it down. Yeah, it's always set up. Um, the idea was to have a spare bedroom or, or set up so we can come in here to film. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and we, we wanted to do it for a long time. We didn't get around to it. We used to put a lights up, put a camera, put a tripod and all that up. And we just thought, well, why are we doing this when we could put it somewhere where it's, and leave it up? Yeah. And it is a lot quicker, a lot better because the lights are always up and they set up how how they're supposed to be set up because there's no shadows, hopefully, and the rest of it. So, yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Um, question number seven, natural lighting or studio lighting? <laughs> That's why I've been like not talking about lighting. So, ideally, we would obviously use natural lighting. Yes. Because it's more flattering. Yes, so if we film in the morning, there's a big window there to my left, and um, it comes out and it's perfectly fine without any lighting. Um, but if it's getting late, it has to be these lights. Yeah, especially in the winter. So we've got softbox lighting, we've got two, one there, one there, yeah. um, and they're very bright. <laughs> and whenever you talk about Don't lighting, look you look at them. <laughs> um, I think Martin said the ideal setup was three. Yeah. I don't know where we would put a third one, but that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, they're fairly cheap on Amazon. I think one of them was 20 quid, and then the other one was a little bit cheaper, but you can tell that it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah. So if you're planning on moving it around, maybe spend the 20 quid rather than 17 but they both work fine um just the cheaper one was is a little bit flimsier yeah that's why we leave it up and it's it's okay you just don't touch it yeah um question number eight what type of camera do you use to film with canon <laughs> i asked john earlier and um, we filmed with the canon m100 and john said a canon g700 <laughs> yeah so i i was getting confused with the other one g7x <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um i love this camera i got it for before we started vlogging properly wasn't it yeah and um it you can take the lenses off and stuff like that um I love this camera. It doesn't have a mic port, so if that's something that's important to you, then obviously... But the M50 does. The M50 does. Um, but I really love this camera. I don't know if I have a sentimental attachment <laughs> to it. Maybe that's what it is, but it does everything we need it to do. I like to play with the settings. Um, you can change the exposure and yeah. things like that. Change the lenses and stuff was really good. It's a lovely camera and it does us absolutely fine and done this really, really good for like years. I do think, talking of cameras, we need a plan B. You know, I've said this to Emma many a times. I think if we vlog in and we're on holiday or we're somewhere and something happens to this one, we up the creek without a paddle and I think as a plan B, I think maybe we need to invest in a a different camera, maybe a G7X. Maybe. Just have it a plan B, just so because if this one goes, then we haven't got anything. Mm -hmm. So it depends. I mean, at the moment we've got this one and we will keep this one, but I think as a plan B, we'll probably get a different one as well. Mm -hmm. 
Um, question number nine, do you ever script your videos or go off an outline? No, we just have a bullet point, just have a bullet point of what we want to talk about, just so we remind ourselves what we want to talk about, mm -hmm. but we never script them, you know, you probably can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think the facts and secrets are as close to a script as we get, yeah. like we know kind of the area we want to talk about, um, tags, no, yeah. vlogs, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Anything can come out. <laughs> yeah, and does. Yeah. <laughs> Um, question 10, if you edit your videos, what program do you use? Emma does all the editing. Um, I want to get in though, I, I said this many a times before other videos, it's about time. Um, Emma's got slightly more time to do it than I have, um, so it normally falls to Emma and she's better at it and quicker at it, so it normally falls to Emma to do it. Having said that, I've said it for a long, long time now, I want to make sure I can do more and and take over a bit of a burden from that. Not not burden probably, but take over a bit more um, because I want to and I want to learn. It's just finding the time, because I'm going to be much, much, much slower to do it, it's finding the time to learn about it and do it as, as quick as you. So hopefully, I keep on saying it, but Christmas when we've got time off and holidays, hopefully I can find time then to do it. Yeah, we use iMovie. Yeah. Um, I think we are maybe getting to like our limitations with iMovie now and maybe want to start looking at other editors um but well like adobe maybe yeah um we can explore like which ones are better but um imovie is obviously a free program if you've got an apple product yeah um and it is great it is it does everything we need it to do we just would maybe like to see like to start seeing like what else we could do yeah i think you're right i think we have reached the limitation of for it for us um and that's okay and i think we very soon gonna invest into a different editing program, maybe. Um, but if you just started in iMovie, is completely all you need to start off with. Yeah, definitely. Um, question number eleven: How long are your unedited, unedited videos before you scale them down? Uh, depends if it's a vlog or a sit down video. Yeah, so vlogs can be like between like two and four hours for so at least for a week, <laughs> unless it's like a Disney vlog, and then you're looking at like two to four hours per day. Yeah, at um, least. Yeah, depends what you're doing that day. Yeah, the facts and secrets maybe an hour. Yeah. Um, and then tags, so, I mean, it obviously varies. It does vary, and it depends, like I say, if we're in Disney on holiday, we would always, that footage of that day, that will get uploaded to a extra and hard drive of that day. So it's always, because we always go out with a clean SD card, um, or a couple of the clean SD cards for a day, because we're going to fill them up, and every night, when we go back to your hotel room, that get transferred onto external. Yeah, it just helps it, like, it, so you don't lose your footage and yeah. stuff. Um, question number 12, how many times do you try and film per week? So other than the vlog, which obviously we try and do daily, we're not perfect, <laughs> we try and do it daily, yeah. we try and film once a week for the week. Yeah, we normally film one day, so Saturday's day, we'd film Saturday for the week coming. Mm -hmm. So we've put out on my, um, Tuesdays, no, what do we do? Monday and Tuesday and Thursdays. Not Monday. No. Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday. Yeah, so we, we film then for then. <laughs> yeah. Um, question number 13. How often do you pre film videos? So, like we said, we film on the Saturday for Tuesday and Thursday. Friday is normally a vlog, so yeah. that one's normally ready. Um, I don't know if I would count that as pre-filming because we literally would have no other time <laughs> to do it. But we are going to try and pre-film a little for Vlogmas. Yeah. But other than that, I don't really like pre-filming too far in advance because what if you change your mind or your opinion, you know? Um, I mean, no, no shade to anyone that does, I think do it if that's what you yeah. want to do but for us I think it's easier to just do kind of a week or week two ahead yeah. yeah I mean it's different for Vogmas because obviously it's, it's a whole month able to do you know, it. so I think we're going to try to film maybe one or two extra a week um, so, so we can get them in the bank sort of ready for, for Vogmas uh, but no like Emma said I think all, we, we are normally a, a week ahead and what we film on Saturday is ready for the week coming. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I think it works well for us because we know what's coming up and and it's current or as current as it can be. So if anything changed or whatever happened in the world of Disney, what we want to talk about, we can. Yeah. Question number 14. 
How long will a typical video take from setting up your equipment to uploading? Okay, well, the setup's already done, it's already up, we just talked about that. Yeah, so let's work off a facts and secrets video because that's going to be easiest. Yeah. So, I reckon it will probably take about an hour to film once we've like stumbled At least, stuff. sometimes a bit longer, sometimes about an hour and a half, depends like you say if you can talk or not that day. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes we can't say the word flag, yeah. so. Um, and then to edit that one, I would say an hour and a half on the lower end of the scale, like two yeah. hours, like, because we do a rough cut and then we go back. Yeah, I reckon they say hour and a half, the minimum mm -hmm. it would take, it could take up to at least three, yeah. you know, after we, what we watched it and make final adjustments. Yeah, and then you've got to pick the music, um, which might seem stupid because <laughs> we literally only use it for like the tiny little bits in the middle, but it takes a while. It has to fit. Yeah. It has so to fit with each land yeah and then uploading um yeah. takes however long youtube says and then you've got the tags and the thumbnail i reckon in all it's got to be between anywhere between like four and six hours i was going to say five and six yeah, yeah so yeah. we'll go with that <laughs> but again it's different if it's a vlog that takes a lot longer to edit yeah um and upload and tags are way quicker so. yeah Tags are, are, are easier because you're just answering questions, there isn't too much you can get wrong on that. Mm. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, I think a, a vlog, you know, you can have all this footage and that could take a whole day to edit that video, um, what I have done before, mm -hmm. you know. Question number 15, are there any topics that are off limits? Um, see, I, I don't know, perhaps you misread this question maybe, but our channel is always going to be a easy watch escapism so we would keep away from all that rubbish of everyday life yeah i think <laughs> off, off limits as in the sense of like different areas of things that we could do on our channel no yeah um but i don't want to be upsetting anybody and i don't want it to be a negative space like john said no. so we would we're not really into controversy and drama no. and things like that so they're not off limits as such but it's probably not something it. we would talk about yeah. yeah it's i want our channel or we want our channel to get the people to watch it and get away from their everyday rubbish of life because it's sometimes it's tough mm. and we want you to forget about that being on our channel you know and so that apart from that no, there is nothing on there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I will <laughs> never come on here and have a rant, because maybe I will, but I doubt it would be anything mega serious. <laughs> it might be a colour of a hair or something. <laughs> yeah, but, maybe that's serious. Yeah, but maybe we've misunderstood the question. Maybe we have, yeah. But, but no. Um, yeah, so that's all of our answers. I'll leave the questions down below. Um, we're not going to tag anybody, but we would be super interested to see your behind the scenes. So if you do do this video, then let us know and we will come and give it a watch. Absolutely. It'd be interesting to see how people do differently. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can hit the little subscribe button, hit the bell, and give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you in our next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.